welcome back friends uh, in my last video i have shown you that how can we create a simple form with the help of html elements in this video i am going to show you how can we create the html uh, form with the help of new elements that has been included in html5 html5 had uh, added some new features in the html tags input tags form tags and there are so many features that has been added in html5 like video and audio tags but i'm not going to discuss these kind of things we will discuss only those features that has been added to the form elements in html5 so i'm going to create a simple html form we can do this one so in this case uh, i am going to create the simple input type is equal to text input type is equal to text and uh, i am going to save my html5 form and uh, i am going to open my form in the browser this is simple html control and uh, what's new in this one is the placeholder attribute has been added to the simple html5 input controls placeholder is used to display information about the text box say enter name here and look at this what will happen you can see whenever you are uh, watching at the text box it will display enter name here that will be used as a simple thing we can also now there is no need this one okay we can say okay we know what we have to enter here and uh, placeholder text will be automatically removed from the text if i try to write anything and whenever i completely remove all the text it will again display <coughs> so this can be done and one more thing we can do is uh, suppose we have a submit type button we have a submit button to submit the form and look at this one submit it is going to submit the form but what i want if i do not uh, enter any kind of text it should not be submitted to any kind of uh, to the server so the new attribute that has been added in html5 is required attribute and look at this whenever i click on this one okay it will display me a nice pop up and say please fill out this form so this is a simple uh, validation attribute that has been added to my input elements the next thing is there are so many different kinds of uh, input elements suppose we have to enter age we have to enter marks input type is equal to we have a new a uh, new type called number and if i use number then what will it happen look at this there is a simple drop down list we can provide minimum and maximum range suppose we say minimum range is 50 minimum range is 50 and reload is found and whenever i click on this one it will display me the first first uh, available number and we can't go uh, below this number we can't choose 49 and if i choose if i manually write uh, say 40 look at this uh oh take it look at this the value must be greater than or equals to 50 we can also provide maximum limit to 100 we cannot go after this limit i say uh, 100 we can okay fine but if i choose 1001 value must be less than equals to 100 so these are some new features that has been added to my form controls and uh, next thing is input type is equals to email email how can we use email look at this how can we use emails input type is equals to email and uh, reloading forms and look at this suppose i'm going to submit okay i need to enter and uh, here is at the rate uh, sorry i'm not going to this one i just said this one okay you have to include that means automatically it will uh, validate your email id 
so these are the simple controls you can validate your uh, url you can provide colors you can take input of colors suppose uh, what i want to do is that uh, i want to allow the user to choose his favorite color look at this this is my input type is equal to color he can use so okay color has been selected so uh, if you want to use this color you have to use javascript we will discuss on this one from my next videos input type is equal to date we can use this one this is a very good control date control and uh, look at this it will display me this one and look at this a nice looking calendar is here we can choose any kind of date we can change our month by using this one june but what if i want to change my year how can we do here is the drop down list yeah scroll bar we can go we can go we can go and choose any year select any month and then look at this my date has been selected so this is these are some few new things that has been added to html5 one more thing we can group our html controls now but they are not the part of uh, html5 they are field set there is the field set this is basically in the part of html and basically used for grouping the controls and look at this nice looking frame is there this is created with the help of uh, field set we can provide a nice looking title say with the help of legend with the help of legend and uh, i'm going to save and i provide a nice title personal information personal information and look at this what will happen you can provide the alignment also to the legend align is equals to center here is so this is how can we create our simple forms one more thing that is available in html5 form controls is that suppose we have to provide the city information we have to provide a city information uh, city information so what i have to do i am going to provide input type is equals to basically for providing the city information i have in my last example i have provided this one but there is a problem with this uh, control so if i want to if i didn't find my city in this list how can we provide my name my city name so the problem has been solved by html5 by using uh, a different thing called data list we can provide a data list i data list okay sorry i have used date list data list and in data list we have to provide id i have city and whatever options we have provided here that should be displayed i am placing here fine this is just like a uh, select but it is not appearing here so what i have to do i have in my text field in my text field i have list property and here i provide the id of my data list and look at this nice looking but if i don't find any suggestion here we can and one more thing n there is this nice filter n o n e so we can say that there is option this is a very good option if i don't find i want to provide bangalore that i have not mentioned we can do so this is a combination of text box and select list and there is a filter so this is a very good thing that we can uh, apply to our forms in, in order to create the forms so thank you very much this is my html5 additions in forms thank you